the Bayonetta pick really makes sense. Hey, wait, was the volume okay? Everything's fine. I accepted myself actually. Alright, All right, so I'll hop on to count and take this one. Alright, none going Bayonetta after realizing that going other characters might force it to a game three situation. Uh, so we, we have uh, Bayonetta versus uh, Lucas right now, which is uh, uh, a matchup that we, we see a lot with like Reno and uh, Nen, mm -hmm. uh, an Ann Arbor classic. So Nen, not unfamiliar to this, but. Um, Famously, Lucas is actually say this matchup was like even back in Smash 4. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. yeah. Um, I can kind of see it with Lucas's ability with PK, PK Fire to kind of stuff out um, Bayonetta's side Bs, like, if they if they happen to miss it. Right. And uh, the thing about this game is that Bayonetta still, like, even though her recovery is very good, it's still, like, very slow. Mm -hmm. So you can always, like, snipe that out with, like, PK Freeze. Yeah. And especially, that will kill. Especially when it sort of comes up a little bit above the edge because it doesn't snap to ledges easier. Mm -hmm. So we can kind of get those PK Freezes. But it looks like Nen's... Ooh. Nen knows how to combo this character. He knows how to combo Nesses and Lucas is very well because yeah. he plays me, he plays uh, Bring Us a lot. And I'll... Tried to go for the counter, but he's making it back. Yep. And Ooh, gets a bat, bat within, within but uh, doesn't freeze. doesn't read the uh, roll in and grab it. Oh, it gets the up air. Up wow. Air, wow. And we'll see what Nen can do to try and close out the stocks. He might I be looking for a witch time forward smash. Oh, I I oh incredible, incredible spot dodge by by Chill. Aware that uh, which time is nerfed in this game, so yep. the timer is a little bit slower. So uh, just spot dodge, just because oh. that's the wow, just snipes them in the air, closing that distance with the uh, with the guns. It was crazy. It was crazy. I so didn't... the guns are sort of nerfed, but I think like the the range in that is like sort of buff. So what Bayonetta's do is like they slide off from the second platform downwards, so it, it like catches air dodges oh, if they do so. that. Yeah, and then getting a lot of damage on the second stock. He's really trying to catch up from that from that unfortunate first stock with the um, with the up air. And down tilt to catch the unsafe aerial, and here's a bayonetta combo for you, folks. Gets the three hits of the forward air, but not close enough to blast on forward. That's oh. a matter, but that back air though. Yeah, we've seen Shield go for a lot of unsafe ledge options, like uh, you go for neutral, a uh, neutral get up, and you go for uh, like there. He tried to challenge the, um, he tried to challenge it with a forward air from ledge, and he's, it just didn't happen. He's doing a good job of like just punishing whenever Nen like whiffs a, a approach option, like what we saw there with uh, cool aerial strings. Uh, gets the heel slide into a forward air combo. What's the? Oh, that's a bad oh, spot, yeah, but he yeah. tethers right back. That was a really good tether because if he would have missed that timing, he would have gotten spiked. And the good PK PK fires. I haven't seen a lot of PK fire from them this game. At least, at least, sort of. He he likes to grounded PK fire, which isn't isn't as great as uh, as aerial PK fire because Bayonetta's even though Bayonetta is a tall character, you can still kind of uh, control that space. Getting there we go. There's another forward air from ledge that Nen could potentially punish. And here is the PK. Oh, oh the down smash can catch. Uh, yeah, B. Yeah. Forward air. Oh, this is a this is a good start for Shield on his last stock. Frame traps Nen uh, with the Nair multi-hit hitbox. Follows the bat with him. We saw Chilled versus um, versus Capybara going for a lot of grabs, and I haven't seen a lot of grabs from Chilled this game. So it's interesting to see how he can punish um, he can punish these unsafe landing aerials from Nen. I think he's like wary of like Bayonetta's tilt game because uh, they all start combos in some capacity. Yeah. So he's just looking for like aerial confirms instead of like just trying to go for a raw grab. This is incredibly even, but one side B could lead to his death possibly. And the uh, missed bat within on the PK fire. Just turning the stock for both of them. And if you want to jump, you can hop on. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, dope. And he almost tried to get him with the PK freeze. Down smash. Ooh, down smash. Oh. Blocks all three hits. Aware so of that. So much shield pressure. Yep. And oh, he air dodged away. He's been air dodging away a lot. And he dropped shield and got hit by a force smash. I'm not sure if he meant to do that force smash. I swear. I I think he might have tried to do a dash tag, but you know we take those. Yeah. No. So chilled. A really close game, but Nen sort of knowing how to take those stocks earlier and really 
That was an unfortunate shield drop from Chilled. Nen's, capaci last stock. Nen's capacity to find those forward smashes whenever possible is uh, very good because, uh, you know, a lot of things from Bayonetta doesn't really kill in this game, so looking yeah. for raw smash attacks, like just having that like knowledge to do it, is just like, we'll pay dividends for him. Great drag down there by Lucas trying to break that Bayonetta combo, but he's really spacing him out with those backward hit up airs. And there we go, that's a lot of con that's a lot of percent. Huh? That narrow leads to any aerial, it seems. Ooh. Ooh. Tries to catch the heel slide with the Nair, but mm. misses. Yeah. And drop shield, try to jab. I don't know if that was a miss input, but it was he could, definitely a sub-optimal punish. He could turn around jab, but I think he probably yeah. misinputed that. Or turn around Nair, but we're seeing a lot of we're seeing a lot of good footsies in this game. And then with the parry on the PK fire. Oh, Ooh, gets which go. time, and that's smash. a forward smash. Oh, he's still that's not it. dead. He's still not he's dead. He's at 100. Bayonetta can't kill? Gets an up air. Uh, Nen will want, want to close the stock somehow. Mm -hmm. uh, backer seems like the go-to option right now. Good percent, and there's a dash attack trying to catch the air dodge. And it snipes him. There's another bullet coming out. He's really good at predicting uh, Chill's sort of roll in, or uh, drift in with the... With the um, recovery and he knows when to throw out those bullets and when not to right but we're seeing a we're seeing a slow roll of Nen trying to take the second stop we go up air good up air covering some options on the platform so what what's Lucas gonna look for here I think like back throws at the ledge forward throws at the ledge might mm -hmm. might be able to potentially kill right now yeah uh, but up throw not really raw smash attacks might be the answer uh, go to answer yeah. here but I haven't seen a lot of forward smash from him he can kind of just challenge um Heel slide. These, these unsafe, yeah, heel slide and these unsafe aerials, and let's see if he can recover, and he does. Ooh, Nen going off stage like that. Doesn't uh, doesn't get in time there to get the down smash. And gets oh, forward smash for the Another struggles. forward smash. Chill really needs to find a way to seal this game. Comes off the angel platform, immediately gets switch time, but fortunately it's stale long enough for Nen to not get anything off of it. We're seeing a lot of Chill going for falling aerials and then up tilt. Which and on some characters would catch their jump, but we see Nen just kind of uh, just kind of reacting to that and not getting hit by these. Up Nen doing a good strings. job of like recognizing when Lucas has a lot of lag when he's throwing out these moves, mm -hmm. and then just like side being in whenever possible. Yeah, and we haven't seen a single PK freeze hit from Lucas this game. Nen really knows how to avoid it. Ooh, gets an air dodge. Gets a down air, but doesn't go for the grab. Instead, of tries to opt for a uh, for an attack. Nen looking probably for a. For a good string to seal out the stock, and there's an up air. Chill's really good at hitting these up airs after these down airs and and following their DI. All right, this could be a good string, and like sometimes Chill will will just go for another attack when he could possibly grab, and Nen is sort of reacting to that because he knows he's going to attack every single time he goes in, pretty much. And there have been very few grabs from Chill. Which is unfortunate in order to build this percent. So Nen's a player who uh, will play patient if he has to, but when he has a huge lead, he'll always go f like full steam ahead. Uh -huh. Oh, and that was unfortunate. It looks like he didn't have his jump, but that'll seal the set. That will be it.